This is Drop Tent Media Network. The old saying goes, if you don't work, you don't eat. Well, there's a new saying for the new generation. You either grind or starve. Established in 2015, Grind or Starve Apparel has become the premier fashion brand for today's hustlers, entrepreneurs, and CEOs in the making. The online store provides groundbreaking styles and innovative designs for today's go-getters, proving that you can grind and look good at the same time. Grind or Starve has several collections to choose from. The new GOS Luxury, Designer, Location Apparel, Rep Your City to the Fullest, Fitness, Barber Edition, Stylist Edition, and Baker's Edition. Go to GOSApparel.com the next time you need a hoodie, polo, G-shirts, bags, all made with the best quality materials. Grind or starve. The choice is yours. Go to GOSApparel.com. Uh-huh. High IQ basketball with Brian Isley uh, time, and Raymond Bird. What's going one. on, bro? I'm going to go for like a... Welcome to another edition of High IQ Basketball with Brian Isley and Raymond Bird. I am Brian Isley. That's Raymond Bird. Neil's in the house and Khalil is back. Hello, Khalil. How you doing, sir? <laughs> What's up, man? I, you all right? That's a podcast. You got to Yo, Him talk. and Rand bring a different type of energy when they come on, right? That's yeah, all that's all you get. Dude. But Rand understands get. the concept of a podcast, which means you have to speak when spoken to. Once the topics arrive, okay, that's fine. We get, <laughs> we get right into the topics. We, you know, how this goes. We treat it like a game four quarters, four topics. Whoever has the most points wins. Quarter number one, the Lakers are down 0 3. They played Denver tonight. Do they extend the series? Or do they get swept? Ray, we'll start with you. I think they get swept. I don't think they can beat them. I think I don't think Denver believes they can beat them. I think when they get to the games close, get to the fourth quarter, I don't think Denver has expects anything other than they're gonna win the game. So that their execution at the end of the game, like end of the day, they don't have a matchup for Joker. Joker mm-hmm. knows he can eat. So at the end of the game, you go run the pick and roll. At the very least, you're gonna get the ball in Joker's hands at the end of the clock. And he feels like he can get a bucket anytime he wants. Same thing with Murray. They don't have a good matchup for Murray as well. So I think that's the difference. They don't have a matchup for those two guys. Khalil? They'll be in Cancun tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Bron going to set up a family trip. I think it's already set up. Yeah, it's Monday. He'll probably start on Monday. He'll be here to have his feet kicked up. It's over. They might as well split that team up too. Get him out. Get him. You think so? I'll go on, follow yeah, up. With that. Over, that was bro. my Just next get question. Him, get him. Get him. That's over with over there. In or LA? LeBron need to go play with uh, Wemby. Chill, chill. All right. So I mean, all right. What you mean? But you ain't get your dick. <laughs> but listen, chill, 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 chill. My bad. My bad. My bad. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> you. Know, I've been hearing. I've been hearing that they're gonna go after Trey Young in the offseason. Now they have. They have a pathway. Where they could go, they got their pick. They got three first round picks. They got some salaries they can dump. They can go get somebody else. Do you think you don't think that's the path? You think they should just break it up and and figure something else out? I'm just like, he keep on getting all these role guys, and I was looking at the numbers uh yesterday, like their role guys compared to uh Denver's role guys. It's like it's like the numbers is like astronaut. It's, it's, it's just they ridiculous, got guys not bro. It's like nothing. you're not giving because all in all. Uh, AD and Braun are out playing Joker and Murray numbers wise, and some of them like points wise, absolutely right. And then you know, I think assists and rebound it might be ground the same, you know, close. But you got your two. If your two, if your two best players are Xing pretty much Xing each other out, and then they're winning the scoring part, then you need guys that's going to score. They need another a star, not another role player. They that's need a star, bro. So if there's a path to go get one. You still I, bring I, it up, right? If it's not a significant like change in who they and who they sign, then I would split that up. Like, who are you gonna Trey Young? You don't think Trey is significant? I think he is, but at the same time, when it comes to the end of the game, you can that's somebody you can target. You that's know what, what I mean? I, you need somebody that you need a person that's gonna I would have rather Deontay Murray, to be honest with you. Like, 
That's a, you can't really target him defensively. Is I Deontay, think is he, uh, I mean, at that time, it was D lower him. I'm taking I don't Deontay think he, for sure. I think he's a better player, but I don't think he, in this, I don't think he would have tilted the, the series. I don't think he would have changed the outcome. I think he can guard better on Murray than the rest of these dudes can. Right, Austin right. Reeves not giving us giving uh them nothing. He had 22 last game, but he's he's been yeah, up and but down. That's in 22, and he's got to do that. You know what I mean? Consistently, they and then what's name getting zero and five and then twenty? Like it's like Rui not doing nothing. Then you got Rui, uh Denwitty just out there getting cardio. Then you got <laughs> like you could just name off. You could just go and Vincent, then what's name from Miami? Came from Miami. He's absolutely Vincent, nothing. Cardio. Vince was supposed to be a big grab. Yeah, Vincent Cardio. That's the name. His name Cardio. Vincent Cardio. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. When 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 the two when the two superstars do what they're supposed to do on on both teams. And so that pretty much cancels them out. Right. It's all about the role players. It's all about matchups, as you love to say. And matchups ain't matching up <laughs> in favor of, of LA. And it's too up and down. It's too mm-hmm. inconsistent. Uh, and that goes for Austin Reeves. That goes for Rory Hachimura. That goes for especially D'Lo. I think D'Lo's tenure in L.A., his second stint in L.A. is over. I think he'll be gone come the offseason. China. <laughs> Damn. Nah, I'm just, I'm not bad. I didn't <laughs> cut you off, sorry. Nah, you fine. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a question, though, right? If Denver's cream of the crop, right? I think Denver's the best team in basketball. They're gonna I think, win it again. I think they could win it again. Yo, LA don't. I mean, I know it's 3-0. Every game has come down to fourth quarter execution. If that's the cream of the crop, right? I think the Lakers are they got they right got in a bad situation where they got them in the first round. I think if they got anybody else, they'd be they'd be advanced into the next round. I think Lakers are probably a top five team in the league. Am I crazy? No, you're not. I agree. I don't think they far think, off. I think if they played anyone else, they'd win the series. Right. They in my got, opinion. But if you can't beat a certain team, you either break that up or you add another dynamic to your to your roster. Like that's going to sway things in your. I mean, in your. I mean, for your. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't, I don't think you break it up. I think it looks bad because it's first round. You potentially get swept, so it looked bad. But if they had played anybody else. They probably would have been the favorites, and they probably knock them off. Yeah, here's the thing, though, man. We don't do ifs. <laughs> this is who they got, and they getting That's smoked. Too. They lost seven straight playoff games to these dudes, 11 games overall. That's the team that they can't beat. So it doesn't matter if it's the first round. It doesn't matter if it's the Western Conference Finals. The Lakers can't beat the Denver Nuggets. So changes got to be made so that they can beat the Denver Nuggets and ultimately, ultimately compete for – a championship because the championship is the goal, right? Right. So, isn't the whole got to go through that? them to beat them? Isn't the whole league if, if they repeat, nobody can beat Denver. Everybody has to. I mean, I know the, the Lakers are one who began sweat bomb, but <laughs> everybody got got to sing that same song, right? You but can't then, beat but then, Denver. Okay. But to go back to you say you said if anybody else, they 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 swept them last year, right? Right. Yes. All right. And Miami got how many games on them? One or was it one? I think it was four one four. I think it was four one. Right. So that makes Miami better then, right? I think the La- last year. If, if the Lakers had knocked off Denver, you the Lakers would have been favored against Miami, right? You probably would say that, but you think that's not going seven? I mean, I, I, Miami's one of those matchups teams, matter though. Miami's one of matchups those teams where matter. they not getting swept. They gonna fight. They gonna get one. Yeah, they just true. one of those tiny kind of teams. So you think that they who they who they get next? All right. So now, yeah, so, so now it's a question of. If it ain't a question of talent, it's a question of moxie. It's a question of heart. Coaching. All right, so they got Miami, spoke. Miami not better than the Lakers, but Miami gets a win on, on, on Denver. Meanwhile, the Lakers can't get a win. We about to drop eight straight to these dudes. If Depending on tonight's game, we can muster up a damn win. Yeah, and you they, got the so-called, you know, Golden team. I don't care if you're 39. You out there competing <laughs> at a high level still? Ain't no excuses but your age. Listen, I'm you out there, bro. I'm the Lakers. I'm trying to go grab something else. I'm like, I ain't breaking them. You close. You right there. You know, it's not as far as it seems. They need a, a, a they Some, need, they need, they should have just signed the white back or something for that. They do need a big. 
I can't so bring what's I can't, name, he, 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 he's can't saying the white can't come back and it's not because of basketball which I find ridiculous it is, it's not because of basketball at all. Yeah, I yeah. think it's because he you know he says he's moving crazy he's moving crazy what the fuck does that got to do with who LeBron don't want that in his locker room bro he I don't think that nobody room. want that in their locker room he walking and around that, and, and that's a leprechaun a pulling up with leprechauns and, like, that, nah. and that's a and that's a problem that's, that's a that's a what the fuck does that have to do with Putting the ball in the basket you ain't and stopping good the other team from putting the ball His into the basket. Basketball talent and that weird shit don't the basketball don't that, outweigh that, it. that 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 uh that off court shit can affect some on court. Wow, you know he that? gonna he gonna fuck LeBron? Who knows? No, that's, that's not what we that's talking not, about. <laughs> so you telling me off court stuff don't affect on court stuff? I ain't got I ain't got it does shit though to do with in the locker what, room. If we, when we when we leave when we leave this show, yeah, I'm gonna go my way. He going to go his way. You going to go your way. What you do outside this, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Yo, let, like let's live. Lil, same, Lil you don't like me. Say say whatever. We got some real off the court. We don't rock with each other. Yeah. I get signed to the team. It's going to be something there, right? Yeah, it is. It's definitely. something there. It's something that's going to affect us. Beat. Come on, you know that. And then the team is going to split. Some people so like Lil, I, some people like me. Right. So you go get in to a domestic Join you, we, we teammates. You will get into a domestic violence uh, situation. Now you get suspended for a game. That's not affecting the on court. Yeah, that's a legal situation. And then I'm like, saying, but I'm not just some type of way about that. You hit, you got a domestic situation. I, it affects, it affects it, your relationship on and off the court matter. That's why, that's that's why you have team dinners or team parties or you go to the movies together. Like it matters. That matters because it's chemistry. Right. I, th- I think this is why I like Joe so much because he doesn't give a shit about basketball. He just shows up and does his job. I think that's what Brian yeah, is he pointing out. He makes go pet horses. Here, here's, <laughs> here's the bottom line. <laughs> we could talk about morality and all this stuff all we want. Here's the bottom line. When the Lakers had Dwight, they beat the Nuggets. Since they haven't had Dwight, they haven't. Period. That was a, that was a different joke. That was yeah, a that was, different that was Joker. What was that? Five, four years ago? Yeah, that was five a different ago? player. He's a different player now. Yeah, he was young as hell. The facts remain they haven't beaten Denver in the postseason since they haven't had a legit big, be it Dwight Howard, JaVel McGee, anybody. They don't have anybody to combat with Joker. Hint, and that's why nobody in the league lose. Does, we lose. We we haven't won anything. The Lakers haven't won nothing against Denver. That's true, but not a thing. Ain't nobody in the league got nothing for Joker. Really? Get a win, please. I, I want one win. They so, get one win. But you didn't answer that question that you asked. Are they getting swept? I mean, yeah. Oh, okay, so we all agree. Yeah, yeah they are. They're going home because the, the here's here's the make. Hey, listen, after I heard it's just basketball. Oh, that's over. Bron showed up last game. It's last a done year deal. He showed up all games. And he, yeah, he has. He showed up big, but last year game four, he put up forty on. He went, he went in there. Like he <laughs> want to go, he want to go home. And what happened? They still lost. He <laughs> lost. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I don't think they ready bags is packed. Like Bron gonna show up. It's just basketball it means bags is packed, tickets is punched. Because <laughs> he knows he uh, Le- Lebron is is speaking like. In a like a totality, so, 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 like he's speaking for. I think he's speaking for everybody. Listen, he could see like body language. D'Lo not being in the huddle, all that, that's losing um basketball right there. Right, yeah. shit like that. Yeah, absolutely. just because you missing, do something else. Go dive on the floor. Go punch um uh Murray in his nuts or something. <laughs> like do so, some. Right, yeah. What's your impact on a game somewhere? If you're not, but like, you have a bad is. shooting game. D'Lo is one of those guys where it's. Uh, if I'm getting buckets, I don't give you nothing else. Yeah, that's whack. That's why he got to get up out of it. He got to go he to China. Gone. <laughs> he going. He up out of here. You can do that pretty boys up in China and shoot every shot. Go ahead. <laughs> you playing when you play. What people don't understand is people uh, guys go other places so they can just play meaningless basketball. But when you get LeBron, the lights is on every night. And you got to. Or 82. Or right. 82 is like a play. Lights on every LeBron. night on you. Every night when you play with LeBron. And then people talk about. Oh, such and such got with LeBron and play worse, or such and such got with LeBron and play better. It's either remember we spoke about this earlier on uh, podcast. Right. You either gonna rise or you gonna fall. Facts. Yeah, that's what that's what it is with LeBron. And all these motherfuckers is falling. <laughs> and then in uh, uh, quarter number two, <laughs> quarter number one was the bad news. Lakers down 0-3. Quarter two is the good news. <laughs> Suns down 0-3. The good news. They out of here too. That is the good news. 
the greatness. The <laughs> thing about the Suns is they getting they ass whooped too, though. It's they not like crashed. they just losing. They're not even competitive. Yo, that, that's and it isn't it crazy? Like you, you put. I think if you put Brian with that, he's winning it. He's winning everything. You put him with Book and Bradley Bill, two dudes that you can depend on. They get buckets. You can depend on those guys. I, I and you I, got Nurk out there. You got Nurk. You got uh, Grayson Allen having a career Definitely year. Definitely a better roster. That's a great roster. Way better. That roster. roster fits around Bron perfectly. You got you got shooters everywhere. But you got to think about it. Bron can play point. Right. That's they what don't they have missing. nobody that can play. That's what they missing. KD. And that's I mean? been the issue all season. Who's going to be the playmaker? Who's going to distribute? Who's going to sacrifice their numbers to get everybody and else involved? Yeah. And the answer has been nobody. And it's hurting D book because he's not being a scorer like he was last year. He's averaging 30 something in the playoffs. He was like damn near the lead scoring the playoffs last year. Right? I think we got to address the elephant in the room is that maybe Bill ain't really like that. Maybe all them years in Washington yeah. has. He had 28 last game. It's different when last like, night. No, you a hooper, you a hooper, right? It's different when you know you walk into a game, yo, I'm getting my 20 shots. Off or on. Off or on. If I'm having a great game, a bad game, yeah. I'm going to get my touches on versus being on a team where you're the third best player. And you if you ain't on, those shots ain't coming no more. Yeah, and you're the third best player because the team that you were the best player on has been ass your entire career. There's a reason why you come over to Phoenix and now you're the third best player because there's players better than you now. And he hasn't acclimated himself into that. I mean, and part of the reason is because he's been in and out of the lineup all year due to injury. So they never really built the chemistry either. But context to the side, I don't really think he liked that. Maybe it was fool's goal. I think I think he's nice. It's just 30 it's, games. It's, you gotta be hopeful. For the Washington Wizards. Yeah, but he's also one further in the players with the Wizards than, than he will with this team. Facts. In the Eastern Conference. I don't want to hear that. You did uh, you did it, bro. I don't want to hear that <laughs> shit. I don't want to hear that B. You That's fine. It. It's the NBA. I know people don't like hearing facts, but it is what it is. These are facts. I'm not giving you no bullshit. The Eastern Conference. And the fact is and- that he went further. With that, that roster, is a fact. Then that he will. Fact. Then he went. He about to go to crib with, on yeah, this team with a better team because they in the West playing better teams in the West. So, what team? That's uh. So, all right. Just, let's say he playing the Knicks right now. Uh, Timberwolves. You think Knicks are getting swept? Nah, but the Knicks are going home. I don't know that. I, I don't do know, know that. that. I don't know, I know that. that Anthony and Edwards. That's not a fact. That's an opinion. That's an opinion. That's fine. <laughs> it's so a it's fact the, that that's an opinion. But the fact, that, <laughs> but it's it. There is it is a fact that the West was better this year in terms of record wise. Yeah, but the best team in the league is in the East, and that remains to be seen because they do dumb shit. But that's they another do. topic for it. Well, best day. regular season team, I should say. That, yeah, yeah, that, better, yeah, that's better yeah. context for it. Is. That's fine. Listen. But you I, the said, I said the Timberwolves were going to beat the Suns. And looks like I'm right. <laughs> so, I, Neil, if you will, please. What was you about to say, Lil? I didn't what disagree. What you about to say? I said I didn't disagree with that. Oh, I remember, I remember I was online and I said, yo, my upset special was Phoenix over Minnesota. And you was like, is that really an upset? Yeah. Like, you agree with me. Like, like I, you know what I mean? Like, that, the, Phoenix. No, I didn't agree with that. Let's go back. You need to go back. To Wait, that, that statement. Confidence. What does that statement <laughs> How is that mean? Upset? How was that an upset? I, you said upset like, special. I said right? upset special was Phoenix over Minnesota. You said, how was that upset? Like I'm saying, how would that be an upset, though? That's what they the six my... and Minnesota is the three. Yeah, but you talk expectation wise of Phoenix is, is. Let me let me let me let me get this for a second. Technically speaking, yes, it is an upset. But you've been on this very show saying that the Suns had the better team. So I how is it an upset? I mean, that's what I, I mean. Many people agree with Phoenix coming into the season is one of the favorites to win it all. Well, he some said, people pick Phoenix to win it everything. What he's saying is, okay, so how is that an upset? Right. I'm not talking about because they stand it, but I'm yeah, talking about because of how they ended the season. I mean, people had those high expectations coming into the year, but as the season transpired, like that, those expectations kind of like they, they barely made it into the 60s. Right. I agree. That's why I'm saying those those weren't the expectations no more. Like if Lakers don't if 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 eight if these guys don't have these injury the injuries Lakers is in six five six spot probably. I mean, okay so I know they gotta close it out probably won't probably end up being a gentleman sweep or maybe who who knows but whatever what's your take on Ant now mm. 
That's two guarding the lead. <laughs> this is my hey hey Neil. <laughs> Let it be known that this is the longest he's ever been quiet on this show. <laughs> Best two guard in the league. I don't know if I feel like he's the best two guard in the league. Has he earned your respect? He, yes. He got so you didn't respect number four this? No. That's Paul. Pause. I did not say I did not respect. I just not. I didn't hold, hold, him, in, hold him in high regard as others did. It's hating on Ant. Hold. Yeah, I was hating. not hating on Ant. That's hard. bad, Ray. That's not bad. I, I just I, I was not you. sold on <laughs> Yo, this MJ talk and all that. I wasn't sold on all that. And I was telling you not to buy the MJ talk. Leave the MJ talk on the shelf. I'm telling you to look with your own two eyes and see Ant for what he is. An absolute monster. I'm just saying, I'm going to be honest. Like I, I don't played, like the MJ talk I either. Thought he don't play better. Like I, was like, I, thought, I was like, yo, they can't win this year. I think I don't even think he's the best player on the floor. That's what he said. I did. I said that. I thought, but I th- oh, right now he is, though. He is, definitely. Without a question. I, th- I think coming into our series, I would have said KD, Book, then Ant. Then and he targeting KD look like. He is. Come here, KD. Come him here, KD. I don't care about all none of that shit. I saw him. And he talking about that's his goat. Come on, son. And he killing him. <laughs> like, listen, listen, I understand. Time waits for no man. KD will be 36 this year. Right. Steph is already 36. Bron will be 40 in December. It, it, it's a done deal, bro. It is what it is. It's an end of an air. They got to team up. It's an end of an air. <laughs> Brian got to go to Golden State. They are going to team up in a couple months, but that's not what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah. So he got get swept, get your rest. Olympics is coming. This is this is, an, this is another uh, article that I saw. It just came up when I was on my way over here. It says Ant is cooking book and KD and all these dudes. Ant has ascended past book. Should Ant be starting on the Olympic team? No. It's all about fit. Yeah, I don't think he should be That's starting. all about how to, how to roster fit. That's why you be seeing, I think Bam is on the team too, right? Yeah. It's all about it's all about fit. It's not about who's the best. But I don't think have Booker's some... starting on that team though. Nah. It's Tatum, KD, Braun. AD, Tatum, KD, Braun, Steph, Steph and Embiid. <laughs> oh, my bad. Embiid, I'm tripping. I forgot about Embiid. Yeah, yeah no, he ain't starting fit. that roster. The, uh, as far as the pecking order goes, oh yeah, pecking yeah. order. No, he's yeah, he should definitely, he's he should definitely play. Probably play more. He probably won't. And, I don't know though. And it's put himself good, in that's a good uh, league conversation. That's where he's that's at. A now. Good argument because he plays defense, and Book ain't a two way guy. Ant Man is a two way guy. Right, that should be the end of the argument right there, right? It should be, but you know how it goes with the politics, and then and, and you can play zone. I think you, you could be hidden in the Olympics. Right. I think that's true. That's definitely true. I, I think Ant has transcended the, the politics. I think Ant is better than Book. Oh, no, without a doubt. I'm, I'm with you on that. He he surpassed him this year. Last year, Book was Going crazy. undeniably one of them. He was talking about, I'm talking about the top five in the league type performances in the playoff wise. But book now, on, book on. I don't know what's going on right now with him. I, I, I feel like. He got too much responsibility. Yeah, they trying to throw him into the one. To the one, yeah, it's taken away from his offensive, like like we said, like we already said, offensive yeah. game. I think the Suns should have never broke up that twenty twenty one roster that went to the finals. The CP, yeah. I don't know. Would well, be getting hurt so much. That's probably why they wanted to and use him as trade. Everything bait. else though, like bridges, cam, the cams. Right. Uh, yeah, that was that was eight and. Everybody's gone. Book's the only one left on that roster. I I was even I was even and, and we That's had this conversation point. many a times after the bubble. The Suns went eight and zero in that bubble. Right. Now they were so bad during the regular season before the pandemic hit that the eight and zero didn't matter. They still went home. They didn't qualify. But I'm like, oh, these dudes is on the rise. Monty Monty got these dudes bought in. Bring this team back and see what happens. They did. They went. They went to the finals the next. That's year. when they get. But they traded for CP, right? They and they traded some of them pieces that was in the bubble, and that started the the transaction of okay, CP here. Now we bringing in all this. Now we 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 teetering. We we teetering with the roster. But that's hindsight, right? I mean, because you look at if you put anybody in a position where you are talking about, you can go get 
KD and team him up with Book, you do it, right? Who, who is it hindsight with, though? Because I was saying that in Aiden 20... Aiden still looks like poop. Aiden looks like poop. So, I, I mean, I'm off of Aiden. CP3 is still injury prone. I mean, only pieces that you can talk about, you got rid of that you can question is maybe Bridges, but Bridges doesn't even look like the guy that the Nets initially traded Bridges, for. Bridges, they Cam. were good role players, but I mean, if I'm in that situation again, I, I would do it all over again. I'm going to go get KD and I'm going to go get Bill as well. But you they, talk, you, in hindsight, you looking at that situation like, yeah, we building a monster. And it was better with Ian, though. And they've regressed. They have. They it have. was better with Ian. With all those moves, all those high quality, big name moves, they've re regressed. They had a better team in 2021. Yeah. All around. I mean, but you also got, they had went to the finals. Hard. They did the May, right, right next year, they lost in the first round. So, I mean, they kind of in the same situation. They, maybe they caught caught it. You know what I mean? They got to the finals after that, the year in the bubble. And then the very next year, they lost in the first round. Seemed like they kind of, they were trying to, you know, put that thing, that championship energy back together by going to get KD. I don't, I don't like think that. that. I think that run was over, regardless. I don't well, like how they did. Last year. Remember, remember that the year they, they got to the chip. Last year, the next right? year, they lost to Dallas, Dallas in the first round. Dallas last year. Luca, Luca got nah the year before. No, I mean last year. What, what round they lose? They lost. Clipper. Now they got to the second round. They second got round, beat right? the Clippers yeah. in the first round, and they got smoked by Dallas again. Yeah, <laughs> Luca own Luca. How many teams Luca own? Clippers. A lot of Clippers. Clippers, Suns. You said the Lakers, too? The Lakers. He on the Lakers, too. <laughs> How you on the Lakers? Every time he get the Lakers, he put buckets on them. They ain't beating Lakers in no series. You don't think so? Nah. They can't stop Luka. I don't know. That, I don't know. I mean, who can? Right. And he's shooting bad, and they still winning. Yo, they playing defense. Yeah. Luka over here talking about somebody getting buckets, put me on them type. Like. That's I wild. That. Who would have ever thought that? Yo, he yeah, he was. He said on the. I think it was game one or two. It's they was two for seventeen when Luca was guarding them or something. Like that. Yeah, Luca said, "Yo, he getting buckets." Coach put me on him. I ain't never seen that. Luca or Test ain't that some shit? They start playing D. They gonna be tough. That's wild. But we're heading into halftime. This is high IQ basketball with Brian Isley and Raymond Bird. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Uh, this is Halftime, and Halftime is sponsored by, if you know, you know, Trivia Games. This is a trivia game uh, created by a great friend of mine and a uh, friend to the show, Saquon Gallet. Uh, if you know, you know, is a 90s to 2020s hip hop and R&B trivia game is created by Saquon Bilal, as I said, it's Star Corner Production, Star Corner Games, and it's the game you never knew you needed. Guaranteed to have you singing, dancing, laughing, and reminiscing. You'll probably learn something too in the most fun way ever is for ages 13 and up. Because you know, with hip hop, we have explicit, <laughs> we have explicit lyrics. But yeah, if you know, you know, trivia game uh get it on amazon and wherever uh games are sold that is our halftime sponsor and we are back this is high iq basketball with brian isley and raymond bird we're headed into quarter three and as i said in the previous quarter steph is out didn't make the playoffs LeBron is down 03 kd is down 03 is this the end of an error ray we'll start with you yeah. I mean, you look at the top teams in the Western Conference and top teams in the East, it's all young boys. And these, you're talking about the OKCs, the Minnesotas, like they're going to get better. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see a pathway unless you're talking about these guys teaming up. You know what I mean? Brian going to Golden State or KD leaving Phoenix and going somewhere else. Like, I don't see a path for them to get back in the mix. Like, these young teams, if you was going to get them, this was the year to get them. Right. You know what I mean? OKC is going to be better next year. They younger, they got draft picks. Like, I don't see a path for Golden State to get better. Like, I don't see a path for neither one, any of those guys to get back in the championship mix. It's a good or a bad thing for you as a basketball fan. I'm a Bron guy, man. You know what I mean? Like, I get NBA pass so I can watch Bron play. I ain't getting NBA pass after when Bron done. I ain't getting NBA pass. I'm still gonna watch hoop, but I ain't gonna watch it like I do now. Damn. That's some sad shit you just said. Yeah. I'm just keeping it a hundred. Like, yo, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I watch. I, I respect it, but damn. All, I watch all Brian games. Everyone. He was in Cleveland when he was in Miami. I watched all Brian games. 
I'm tuned in. I'm locked in. I'm watching the teams around him to see, yo, who's the threat? Because I'm t- I'm locked in. I want to see Brian be great. I, I don't have nobody I'm I'm that invested in no more. I neither do I. I'm just invested in the game. I'm gonna watch who I'm gonna watch who I'm just not gonna be as but tied not, in as I am. Not now. religiously. I ain't gonna get NBA pass. You still gonna be locked in, right? Well, of course. But is it is this an end of an era and is it a good or a bad thing for for you as a fan and the league as a whole? It's sad, but league is in great hands right now from what we're looking at. Like Wimby is him right now. He, you talking about Andy Edwards? When he's about to be the best player in the league in the next couple, three, two, three years. That's from what he just showed. You gotta win. Of course, you gotta win. You gotta, you gotta get you pieces gotta too. Some, you gotta do, you gotta you gotta get do some too. kind of winning. You put Wimby on one of these other rock, put Wimby on the Lakers. Mitch McCall, Nick was saying that same thing, man. I got I, that's cool. And maybe you're right. I ain't saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I got I'm just saying league is in good hands. I got to see some winning. 17 wins and you put them great numbers is cool. I, I need to see a little winning. Here's what I'm ready to crown him. He, and Nick did say that. Shout out to Nick Lawson, friend of the show, frequent guest. He said, if, ah, I hate playing the if game. Yeah, that's true. That's if true. you put him here, this this team will do this and that. Here's what I saw. That's no if. The OKC Thunder didn't make the playoffs last year. They added Chet Holmgren. And look. Right. So we can't go by that if stuff because, one, we don't know for sure. So I only go by what I see. I know that OKC added Chet, and they became a contender. I know that the Spurs added Wimby, and they ain't shit. Okay, so you saying he's better than Wimby? I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just saying look at what's going on. Yes or no? Nah, I don't. No, the, the ceiling is higher. Ceiling is higher for Wimby. The, Wimby has the potential to be the best player in the league and to be an all-time great. He has that kind of skill set. He's seven foot four. He's, uh, okay. he's, he's, he's a unicorn. But you got to win. You have to win to, to solidify yourself. There's no it's ands, or buts about it. There's I mean, no getting didn't around the rookie either, so. yeah. The team improved. Mm-hmm. And they had a, they, the team improved. There was, there Same. was, there was a ocular, you can see it. You can see the improvement in the team. The, the Spurs may have gotten worse this year. Spurs are in a position to pick. If there was another Wimby, they'd be picking the next Wimby because they got, they got the first pick. You know, they definitely they got, in a position to get number one. They got the most they lottery. Are. They got, they got the, one of the worst breakers. Nah. When they go to them ping pongs and they pick out who got the first, they're going to they gonna be in the mix. They're going to get top five. I guarantee sure. you they got a 13 to 17% chance <laughs> <laughs> of landing the number one pick in the draft. That's how bad they've been. The Cavs weren't that bad once they got Braun. They were bad enough to get him, but once they got him, they never been that bad again until he left and went to Miami. Right. No, I'm so much a rookie here, though. I'm just so much a rookie here. They won 30 some games in the East. We're going to go to that. <laughs> <laughs> in the East. We're going to go to that. <laughs> That's, a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. It was also 21 years ago. It was a little different. That was 21 years ago. And the West was still better. I agree with that. <laughs> I do agree with that. The but anyways, the I was like we saying, I don't want to go off topic, but they had the league is in good hands. Is it sad that they it's definitely the end of an area? Yeah, it's over. Warriors is done, obviously. That's gotta break that up. Um Steph, Steph is still gonna be him. He's still gonna average 30, 28, 30, whatever, 27, because he can shoot. But winning wise, nah, the young, the youngest got it, and they add in uh they're adding pieces, and then these young dudes is playing hard as hell. The right. old dudes is trying to coast through, wait till playoffs to then turn it on. Now nah, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't twenty nine no more. Thirty, five more years added on to that 29, 30. It's a difference, yeah. And y'all know that, you know, playing ball, just in general. Like me at twenty five, I'm ready to tear the rim off. Right. <laughs> right now, I'm ready to just back to the basket, post fade, <laughs> chilling. I'm trying. Coast through the game, you know what I mean? Right, right. These, these young dudes ain't oh, having that. They out man. here. They ready. They SGA out here, killing. He, you got SGA. You got Ant Man. You got Tatum. You got Joker. You got Embiid. Like, the league is in great hands right now. 
The, the list goes on. The, it's a, it's a, it's in great hands as far as the talent pool goes, talent pool, but yeah. it's not in great hands as far as faces of the league goes. It's still debatable oh, as to yeah, who's okay. going to be the face of the league. Bron has been the unquestioned face of the league. What's his name has a uh as he's a great character uh kid. Anthony Anthony Edwards is a great character kid. Like he's he just he's a funny dude. Like he, he yeah. Knows, so he has the he has the charisma and the charisma to be yeah. The characteristic to be like that guy, but he's in Minnesota. Oh um, yeah, and it's also he, he's dark skin. <laughs> yo, am I am I wrong about saying that? He that's, 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 the, that's Mike probably dark skin. Mike he darker than Mike. He like yo Mike was dark skin. That's probably the most one thousand thing you've ever <laughs> said. I agree one hundred percent because he's dark skin. Mike was dark skin. Stacks. Face of the league is was Steph and like Braun type. I think. Y'all both right. But I think it's it's going to be different. You, you don't have a, a KD. You don't have a Steph. Like the star power that's eventually walking away, I don't think you got that. You got some great players, but st- the star power, the guys that, oh, shit, I want to wear I want to wear me some Tatum. You don't want to wear no Tatums. Luka, Luka. <laughs> you don't want to wear no Lucas. You don't want to wear no Jokers. You don't want to wear no Wimbies. Nah, amen. You want to wear like, KDs. I want you want to wear, jo- you know what I mean? Like, you don't wear, wear they sneakers. I'm not, I don't know about that, bro. I, I've been Facts. I've been removed. I've been removed from actual pickup hoop. I haven't hooped in about seven, mm-hmm. eight months. But before I stopped playing, I used to see various pairs of sneakers yeah, you, on you, the you floor. Right now, right? Listen, you were hooping anything. I'm a hooping anything. I was. I mean, when I was ho- I'm hooping anything. That's different what between I'm saying, what I'm putting on my feet and I'm walking outside in. What I'm saying uh, is, you're talking about I'm, oh, you're talking about just, I'm just talking about the, 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 the swag behind it, right? You only doing I'm it with not Jordan, wearing, I'm not. I mean, I, people wear bronze. People wear KDs. People if you're wearing bronze and KDs in the club, they, you you gotta evaluate your lifestyle. <laughs> Yo, people. KD they do do some, it though. They be looking KD crazy. got some resale sneakers that that go for bread. The nah, and do, all do, that. Like, like, I'm just saying. I'm not wearing a, I'm not rocking a Johns ever. I'm not interested in, oh shit, A Man's dropped today. I, I know you said they had a nice pair of shoes. They OD. The hooping. They fire. But ain't nobody like, oh shit, now the ants come too. out today. You ain't got the star power that's walking to pay. Why? Ain't the replacements ain't there. From a marketable standpoint, I agree 100%. I just thought you meant ain't nobody wearing their shoes, period. I, mean, I disagree with hooping, that. You're hooping anything. And if, I, the, if the so Caitlin well, Carts is hard, dudes is going to hoop in them, Jones. I don't necessarily agree with that. They I, we just though. hoop. <laughs> they look, they already got they a sample. Just, yeah, they, if that's what, uh, from what I saw, them yellow and black joints they showed, that's supposed to be her shoe. Trash. Sabrina joints is fire. Sabrina, I told you. I told you Sabrina joints. Sabrina is joints fire. is better than a lot of the dudes. Facts. Signed to that side. Like, D book joints is garbage. Yeah. It looked like. Uptown's like the, the uh, books you know, like, like somebody cut half of a wallaby off and put a swoosh sign on them shits look bad, bro. Nah, those is Kobe's. No, 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 not those. Nah, I gotta go on my on my gram. It's real early, right? Yeah, I ain't it's even like real. They early. Early. They had I mean, samples. So they might if they, 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 they might have been of some BS site, uh, one of them BS pages. There. Yeah, but what up? Well, what I'm saying is right there. These ones. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh the I'm gonna pull them up for everybody yeah, so they can trying. see. The lows don't look that bad. The lows don't look bad. The oh, highs garbage. is the highs is disgusted work. That's a real. Ooh, I mean, the I highs are real lazy. The lows are That's the basic right. Adidas. Shoes. Listen, Listen gonna come up. Adidas, Puma, they that they want to come up. You said Nike's being lazy, right? I know, I know we off topic, but right? that, that's that's very intriguing statement. You just Nike's being lazy. Nike's been at the top of the game pretty much our entire lives. Yeah, I mean, you could throw a swoosh from anything, people gonna fuck with it. What I'm saying is, what the hell else could they do? What what what, what other concept <laughs> could you come up with? What other design could you come up with? Everything has been done. That's like saying it. Every dunk has been done. Then somebody throws the ball between their legs. Or then somebody puts their arm through the rim. It's always something. When's the last time you watched a dunk contest? I don't watch the dunk. Exactly contest. my point. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they need to get these these balls of life dudes to get in. The end. Yeah. NBA dudes don't care. They be doing contest. different shit. It's, I mean, every time yeah, you think they be everything's wilder. been done, it's something else to be How done. How many retros you got in your crib? All retros. 
But, my case. but uh, you say <laughs> what else could be done? Then New Balance did something that that shit is hard. Everybody fuck with the New Balance is now. It's a different swag. Yeah, I ain't gonna front. You say I'm, you say it's done, but then somebody does something different. But I asked about Nike specifically. I mean, Nike, Nike could have been that. They could have did those. I'm just saying it's all. Every time you think yeah, it's all over, New Balance is some heat. They got some heat. They started they got, right. They every time crazy. you think it's over, it's, it's always something. New Balance. Dude, that's how crazy. Sorry, keep going. I'm, yeah, like, my dad balance. wore New Balances all his life, and that's so funny that yeah, they do look good. They <laughs> they tough, and I love the um like even Crocs. Dad to do something new. Right. <laughs> There's always something new to do. <laughs> well, Nike ain't been doing that shit. Nike You're right. I agree. I agree. I agree. I'm, 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 I agree with you. But people, there, there's, there's a, they have their solidified fan base that's going to cop whatever they drop, especially Jordans. Right. I hate that but, they keep bringing them drinks out every. It's so annoying. The old joints or but, the new joints? No, they, they, they keep dropping the old joints. Like over and over and over and over again, it's right? Like, they just keep lose. recalling back to the other design. Yeah, I, mean, I get lose. it. You get they don't get they don't get the paper, so it's, it's can't it is lose. It is. So I you think your why? question is it is ended in an era. Exactly. Yeah, it it is. Is. <laughs> answer the question. It we're, is. We're repeating and, shoes, <laughs> and the, they they keep dropping new J's. Ain't nobody buying them shits. Yeah, he got to over thirty something, thirty nine. Somebody yeah. hooping in them. Somebody they, they, they hooping, somebody in, hooping in them. They hooping in them. Yeah, but. T- that all that streetwear rocking rocking jays the proms yes, nah that no that shit ain't happening that shit is not happening so it is an end of an air unfortunately i mean brian has been a part of four or five airs so and Crazy. he had to end at some point and still one of them he's still one of them you crazy. never know man <laughs> never know you what. Never what you about know, to say, man? My man get the right piece around him. Next thing you know, he right back in. He was just in the conference finals last year. He was on the doorstep. They was on the doorstep last year. Like they not <laughs> four knocks and they got <laughs> <laughs> and nobody answered. That job. <laughs> Headed into quarter number four, uh, we didn't get to talk about this. This happened a couple of days ago, but. Still very, very intriguing to me. Joel and B's 50 points while being diagnosed after being diagnosed with Bell's palsy. I read crazy. up on it. They say it go away. They say it's not no said in, type shit. They in say, most cases, it goes away. Right. They said a couple weeks it usually should have got ejected. Because for what? He threw somebody out the air, bro, while he's on the floor. That's ejection. Anybody else? If Mitch Robinson did that to him, right. And he would have got a fine. He should have got ejected. Mitch Robinson ain't Joel and B. I don't care who you are, you should you should get ejected. You you could hurt somebody seriously. Like if he could have got hurt bad, you saw it. I agree with I didn't you. See the play. I you could have got that. hurt. He he was on the floor because he 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 tried to like sell a charge. He right. fell on a Nobi like bumped him. He fell and he, his... and he was mad. He didn't get a call. Yeah, at the other end. Right. So he came down here. He's already mad. So he's on the floor. Uh, Mitchell Robinson got like an open layup or dunk, and he like while he's on the floor, he pulled him down pulled by him his down. legs. And they gave him what? A flagrant one. So we'll, all right. Free throw on the ball, bro. Ho, Come ho. On. We grabbed your legs and wait. Mitchell fell on the floor. Now yeah. we're good. I mean, was so, I mean, it depends on what Mitchell's reaction to it. But did he crumble to the ground? Yeah, he and did. act like he was all hurt or or was it, and he just well, fell, he fell got on up the floor and, and then and then he threw him off of him. He fell on top of him and him. He just yeah. flung him off of him. <laughs> he got it, bro. He was wilding. Right. I think a lot of those times, great game though. A lot great. of those times, um, flagrant one, flagrant two, ejection is based on who the, the players, players who the player is, and, sure. and the players and the uh, victim's reaction. Right, you fall on the ground and you act all crit, and, and then that's that goes back to what See, we that don't look all. That don't look too bad. That's that out, out of pocket. Too, that it, it's bro, out of pocket, OD, but it ain't look. I mean, you can't. I'm bro, not ejecting. I'm not ejecting you for that. You're not just, he's looking at him. Yeah, that's a that's just gonna right here. Here, here's I'm gonna it ain't it look up. crazy though. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. So bird is bird is like, yo, ain't shit happened. So you yeah, give me the flagrant right. one, you give me the ball. Right. Khalil was of the mindset of Something what could have happened. happened. Facts. I, right. I agree with you, but when you it don't look crazy. Now it goes back I'm to what we spoke about uh earlier in uh podcast with the referee, the discretions. Like you can't you either have you know what I mean? It gotta be if it's Cross the board. Cross this line right here. That's it. All right, but in that situation, that's not basketball, bro. Like what he said, it's how you react to it. If NB, if he'd have did that to NB, NB would have sold that shit. He ain't sell it. 
And that's why NBA didn't get tossed. It it's wasn't. Not. That's why it's a flagrant. That's why it's, it's not basketball. Something like that happened to you. I could see you walking off. <laughs> and you're done for the day. No, I'm probably swinging on somebody for that. Oh, you? Oh, okay. That's that's just something, that's something to know. Like, you trying to hurt me. Right. You trying to hurt me. Like, if I get a, if you foul, if somebody give me a hard foul and they keep playing or something like that and waiting for the ball, then I'll probably, I'll probably be like, oh, come on, bro. Like, I, like that, pro- though? Probably. <laughs> I've seen you numerous times. That, get though. pissed off. That is wild. That's wild. You talking about, no. Yo, Ray, you crazy. If somebody I'd, did that to you, you pissed off. I would be hot. I get what you're saying. I'm just, I don't disagree. I'm just saying, I, I think that's a flagrant. I don't think it's a eject you from the playoff game. Regular season, maybe. Playoff game, I'm not ejecting you. The best player on the other team out. I'm not ejecting. I mean, you don't do shit like that then. Yo, I agree with he you. And his emotions run too high. That's the flagrant. To be one of the best players in the league. Yeah, his he, emotions he, run he too was high. wilding for that. He was out of pocket. He I don't did. think it warranted any ejection though, based on Mitchell Robinson not being. He, it, it wasn't. It wasn't any. Yeah, I want. Yeah, I want somebody to pass it. away before you make it. <laughs> <laughs> about Yo, Mitchell Robinson get getting sell it. If he had <laughs> sold it, he'd have got him out of there. Fuck you got to fall on the ground, Damn. roll around all crazy. Yo, you what? Now you out of pocket. <laughs> you Fuck out of pocket. Y'all. Fuck both y'all for not agreeing with me. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a friend in this one. Damn. Yeah, hey. you know, you, I genuinely, I do. That shit pissed me off. Like, that's, I would. I mean, I'd be like, yeah, dude, how late? It's just so you can see him not give a shit. Like, you can see him like, no. And I'm like, dude, that's like football bullshit. Like, when the whistle's blown, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. You're a professional ball player. Nobody, nuts. Nobody's saying don't be And then Bird's off. point, Probably Bird's like, point, Bird's point is just like he should have technically, like, if the other dude doesn't, like, sell it enough. I'm like, sell it enough? Do we have decorum <laughs> in this motherfucker? Like, that's insane. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I, just I, I, I didn't. I Khalil's didn't. winning this one. I didn't, co- <laughs> I didn't co-sign with the with the selling it. I hate that selling shit. I don't like that. But I don't co-sign with selling either. I don't co-sign with none of that. But I'm just saying, you you right about that though. And he right about that. If he went down hell's knee or something, I don't know. They yeah. probably made it. If Brown would have sold that shit, Brown would have sold that shit. The Brown hell out fell of on it. the floor. He been rolling around, grabbing, and that you know, and then that. It, it makes more of my point. LeBron wouldn't do no shit like that. He wouldn't grab nobody. Why would you do that? That's not, that is, that's, oh, that really pissed me off. I'm still pissed off about that. It's whack. <laughs> it's, it's, that's a whack that's move. That's not basketball, man. It's that's, not, it's not, come it's on, not man. basketball. Not a bad, no foul. Uh, no foul is a basketball. Like, well, I Westbrook yesterday, when he, uh, when he went for that block on, uh, was it Josh Green? That was a good, I mean, that was a basketball foul, though. That was a basketball I understand play. that. That's different. You know what I mean? Even though he's he's Westbrook be wild. <laughs> Westbrook give you maximum effort. That was yeah, a, do. that was the effort play. That's I'm not giving up. I'm trying to go make a play. I'll make a play. He was trying foul. to go. That's a I'm trying foul. to go. He was trying to go get it. He was. And I and I fouled you in the process what, of trying he, to go get he it. Hit, he got hit in the head. Yeah, yeah he yeah. went to go make a block, hit the ball in the head. But yo, Westbrook, did, that was just an effort play. You know what I mean? I get the rules to the back in the day. That's a that's a two shot. If you make your little, you shoot, shoot your free throws. Today it's a flagrant. Like. Do the Different. Sixers tie up the series? No. I don't know. I got gentlemen sweep. I got the Sixers. The Sixers is they iffy. They at the crib. Should they sh- they should tie it up? Mm-hmm. But Tomorrow, I don't know. One o'clock. And B gave you yeah. fifty. Usually when and B go crazy like that, the very next game he don't give you much. <laughs> and I don't I don't expect him to. One of his eyes is shut. I'm pretty sure they fixed him up. Give him a little Benadryl or whatever. <laughs> Some Benadryl. <laughs> they gave him something. He's, He's really twitching. Well, I thought he had uh, Tourette or something. <laughs> That's what my son said. Yo, he, he, I think he's straight. He's Somebody, like, some people was like, yo, is he having a stroke? Like, this is wild. It's, it, it does look very similar. When you, your whole side of your face shuts down, there's partial paralysis at sometimes. Mm. That, that's very strokish. Does that make you think, look, look at him a little different? That he still got 50? He still played through that, John? I, I should ask you the 50 piece? I should ask you that question because you <clears throat> have been very critical of him, especially with his body language and his leadership qualities. Yes, sir. Or I'm like they're different now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I would expect him to go lay down <laughs> and lead a game. So, Neil, something like that. Ooh, add more points, crazy. please, because this is the second time he's been wrong. <laughs> Ooh, he was wrong about Ant 
and he's wrong about Embiid. We <laughs> we have hella arguments the last couple of episodes based on those two players, and he's conceding that he's been wrong both times. <laughs> Go ahead, Khalil. I was gonna say I, I forgot who I was talking to. And it was like, um, Embiid was was unbelievable. He was like Shaq mixed with JJ Riddick. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he was in, I think he hit like four, three straight at one point, or something like that. Man, he was cooking like that. Yeah, when B yeah. is on, yeah, he was he hitting him tray balls. He went nineteen for twenty one from the free throw line. Man, he's always been that. It's just he's he's exceptional. Jalen was Jalen was cooking the too. best in B, and I'm y'all going to disagree with me. Maybe not. And B at his best is better than Joker at his best. He when gonna it, disagree. When Embiid, when Embiid is on, his midi's falling, and his whole game is on display. Yeah. I think he's a better bat. I think if they matched up and at their best, I think Embiid wins that battle. Nah, because then Joker can't do nothing with him. Joker just Joker is just too good. He's too good, but he's a great reading react player. Embiid's but I, don't think, I agree with that. I think the other part of what Joker is, he typically has the advantage. Right, you're either you're too small or you you can't do nothing with him. Embiid Embiid is big enough, strong enough. To deal with him, he would Joker going eat. I'm not saying that he locks him up or nothing like that. I'm just saying that I don't think Joker is nothing he could do with Embiid. It's not just a size mismatch. Like he just can't guard. He's not a good defender. You know, he can't do nothing with. He can't and I think with I other. think Embiid can do would do a better job on him than he would do on on Embiid. That's fair. I think Embiid would win that match I if also, they matched up. I also think that Joker's skill set will uh cover some of that up with the passing because he's going to give you the triple double yeah. so i i think it kind of evens itself out when it be cook and be cook when i seen a match up last year when it was on that old mvp talk and they had to face each other i seen him be bust his ass and mm-hmm. i'm not saying that you know that's the reason why i just think that matchup wise i think it'd be last cool. year this year he didn't I think they, the, they the first the game play, they did right? match up and be bust his ass the second game nah, he beat, bust his ass. They, they played twice yeah, the so second he had, game, he almost had triple double. And B against. sat down. He didn't. No, play. I'm talking about the game they the matched first up. Game, he scored and B more points. That's it. And they won. So scoring more points makes you better. I'm not that saying just what me. they won the game as well. No, no, we ain't talking about. We talking about individual performances right now. I'm talking about he yeah, scored more points. That was it. Yeah, more rebounds. Yeah, more assists. Stat line. I forget the entire. Yeah, more rebounds and more assists. I forget the entire stat. I don't. I just remember that. We can battle this. Which game was it? I don't remember the six or yeah. one. <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah, I was on your side. They only yeah. played twice. They only yeah, played they only twice. Played twice. Okay. okay. I don't know. So it's gotta be Embiid and Joker. Okay. Last year. He's not better than it's this year. Not, not this year. year. Oh, okay. I mean, he's not a I mean, right now, if you had a ranked players, I mean Joker's higher on the list than Embiid is. So I agree with you there. I just think if they were two match up, they said they both got to the NBA finals, which probably won't happen. But if they did, I don't I don't think Joker would have the advantage in that matchup. Mm. Oh, Sixers probably get swept. They played them in the finals. They would lose. I don't think they would get swept. No, I think they're getting swept. So the only team that's getting swept is the Lakers. I don't think. think Come on, bro. I don't think (laughs) Denver didn't sweep nobody. Let us check. Be a goat. That's wild. (laughs) These are just the open. Nah, it's just sad, man. It just means you gotta break this shit up. Nah, I'm 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 keeping them together. Y'all want to go and be not relevant anymore? I don't know. Nah, nah, nah. We can't beat Denver. We lose to Denver all the time. Other teams get wins. Other teams get one win, two wins. We don't get anything. And that's the matchup. That's the bar. So let's improve so we can meet that bar. Right? Agreed. But... Yeah, this guy's Listen, bugging. I had to we, are we recording? Points. What the I fuck? I had to check the stats on? in the game. They did. They wasn't. Equal. Oh, I was gonna say. And B had forty-one. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Joker had say, twenty-five. I didn't say points. I said he had more rebounds and assists. And B dominated that game. I know I was right. I didn't. What did I say though? You made it sound like it was wild close. Like, yo, Joker had a good right. game. He had twenty-five and nineteen. B for, the, up for the forty-one and fifteen. For the sake of the for the sake yeah. of the argument, Bird, he got that. 
but you can't go radio silent to Yo, figure I, out your I, point. It's two other people here. with you. It's two other people here. Y'all could have filled the air space. I did. The the best I, the best I could. <laughs> I, I, I knew I was right. I had to check that. Had to I'm check bouncing that, off bro. questions. Yeah, trying more, to get I said he had more points. He dominated that game. I remember I watched that game. Oh, no, he dominated, dominated that, game. that game. He shot hella free throws. It's not like he was, 40, it's not like he was caught and dominating. He's not. I don't like that. I don't that like is, that. That is part of the game, Khalil. No, I know that, but I don't like when <laughs> majority of points is free throws. That's what I'm watching. How, how you get them? How you get them though? If I if I'm busting your ass and you fouling me like, well, we in LA Fitness and I'm just, oh yeah, you you only got two points, but you fouled me on four other possessions where I had buckets. And you still that take a, I'm just doing it with two. That's that's not the same. That's a terrible analogy, actually. Oh no, <laughs> great analogy. I'm just it's saying, not, like if we hoop and I'm uh, right. So it, it gives you analogy. It makes you feel like, yo, I'm locking you up, but you ain't really locking me up. But we just uh, not under the whistle. And I ain't shooting free throws in that situation. I agree with Khalil. That was a terrible analogy. <laughs> we got to get into the, we gotta get into the OT. And uh, what was the final? Okay. <laughs> two, two V1, yo, I still won. Yo, unzip your jaw. Two V1. <laughs> unzip your hoodie and give it to him. Two V1, I you know still won. You know what this is? I kind of wanted you guys to win. I kind of wanted you to win because then this way it'd be like, because Ray, like, it would be like I'll a... Be awesome. Yeah, yeah, I don't We're know how you guys... Argue the whole time. I know, exactly. It's his fault. We right. argue in each other, though. Right? Why, it should be three I got to look for... I know, I got to get three different. I got to get why he one. lost. On the previous episodes, he's made blasphemous statements and he's retracted on this episode. Yeah, that I'm means okay. you lose points. I'm okay admitting what I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's okay. That's that's great. That's that's wonderful of you. Then you were wrong today. <laughs> we had an into the OT. I don't know about y'all, but I'm off this this whole new age battle and shit. As far as I'm concerned, it's over. And it was over when Tupac's estate sent the cease and desist to Drake after Drake used uh, AI for Tupac and Snoop Dogg on his tailor-made freestyle directed at Kendrick Lamar. I don't even think Kendrick Lamar has to drop anything. This shit's over. No, he got to give us. We're tired of this shit. He he said that was fire, though. What was fire? That tell that that, tell that me. Whole concept this it was just fine. That was trash. That, that, was, concept. that was horrible. That was horrible. You don't that whole you don't seek help from people that, who ain't really give you the help. You don't seek help from people who are dead. Yo, you said you got help from fire. people that didn't even yo Snoop didn't even give it to you. Like you yeah, come on, I don't know. You want to go no, at Kendrick? I, I, you agree go with, at, I agree. You want to go at did. Kendrick? Go at Kendrick. That's cool. Yeah, I agree with that. But I'm saying, but I think it was fine. The whole idea that was just that was that was that was genius. And make a song and do that. Don't make a a diss song and do it. Don't use Tupac and Snoop's voice. Yeah, that shouldn't. Don't Snoop's do that. Still here. Dope, Why you ain't call him and get his voice? <laughs> Why you ain't get a? Why you call the real feature? Snoop? Yeah, that's true too. Like, I don't understand that. I don't under even understand. You saying it's genius. I don't even understand how you could come up with that concept. Like, what made him that, think? That's what makes it genius. <laughs> what made him think that shit was hot? Like, yo, yo, I'm going to get Tupac. I'm going to sound like Tupac. And his cadence, his flow, Tupac would never sound like that on a track. That made it worse. Like, Tupac don't rap like this now. Tupac ain't the most barred out MC ever. He, nah, ain't, not. he ain't the most lyrically inclined. A lot of people may say so, but they're wrong. He would never sound that bad, though. He sounded horrible on that song. Yeah, I just don't like it. That's, the, like that. that's the reason like why it. they sent the cease and desist, because if it was a good song, they would have rocked with it and got paid. They said, nah, take that bullshit down, bro. You are sullying the name of Tupac Shakur. And I ain't even a Tupac fan. That shit was garbage. To y'all. <laughs> the match is going to say that. <laughs> I guess I'm a grumpy old man, and I I'm, I guess I'm I don't even bitch. like the battle and stuff in general, though. What? I, 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 ain't, I, ain't, I ain't mind uh, Cole doing what he did. I nah, that shit was corny. Nah, yeah, hip -hop. You, 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 if you don't feel something in your spirit to, to do that, then why? It's music. Like, what's it? Whole, what, what Bron said, it's basketball. Like, this ain't... Tupac versus Biggie. Nah, where don't do that because Tupac, two uh, battle rap. Oh, I mean, excuse me, hip hop people's 
done died from all this right, type bullshit. Right, but this so, wasn't it. I know that's not, These that's dudes not, that's was not, not that's on not the, none of that time. That's not the point I'm making, though. I'm saying we always are a genre like that we made. I don't know how long hip hop been around, but it ain't been that. There's no other genre, none, that does a bad that battle. Why we got a battle? Why we can't just make good songs and have a good time? And why why you go out and tear somebody down? Competition. In a, Competition, competition. competition is it's making about, the I competition think I'm better than you, bro. The and, competition is to make better music. That's the competition right there. Why I gotta tear you down? That's that's because we used to that shit. That's why we used to the we used to the negativity and let me bash the next man and this that and third. Why they don't do that shit in rock and roll? They don't do that shit in uh, R and B. They don't do that shit in um, fucking pop music, but we do it. Right, right or wrong. We, right, we, we, think of, we never the, thought of it like that. That's the essence of hip hop. Is that the shit competition? Is dumb, you from here? I'm from uh, here. I let's had link his, up and see who better. You. I had it. That no, that's not the same. That's what they do. That's that's the. That's not that's the same. The, the, the essence of hip hop at its core is. I, if you want to do that shit, battle. Be a battle rapper. That's a whole nother a whole nother sport. I watch battle rap. You want to do that battle rap shit? Go there, Khalil. Miss me with this I have a dream bullshit you talking about. Nah, right this, is feel. this is hip hop, bro. Hip hop started this, hip hop started, first of all, hip hop started in 1973. Right. 51 years. Hip hop is the youngest genre of music. It is. Hip hop started based off of yo, this DJ is the best. Nah, bro. This DJ down the street smoked that other DJ you talking about. Hip hop literally started off competition. My DJ is better than your DJ. Who can set the party off better? Then it started. Then it went from who can who can tag a building better? Who's the better graffiti artist? Who's the best graffiti artist in the city? Then it went from that to who's the best break dancer in the, in in the city and in the world. Then it would went to who got the best rhymes. My MC better than your MC. Period. Oh word. Well, let's find out. That's hip hop. That's hip hop at its core, at its essence. At the very beginning, that's what hip hop is. So that's what hip hop is always going to be. I'm the better DJ. I'm the better graffiti artist. I'm the better break dancer. I'm the better rapper. Okay. What's that's wrong? what hip hop is. What's wrong when it is just healthy competition? That's all but this it's was. Not. Wasn't no guns. But, wasn't no. But it's I'm not. I'm trying though. to see you outside of this. This is strictly. These two, these, 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 these particular, well, yeah, it's two, going, yes. it's going over more. It's been more than that before, but this particular battle was just music. That's yeah, all I agree. Was. I agree, I agree so with that part, but you ain't have time, to, you ain't have to bail out of this. This Cole, is music. Cole, that was some sucker shit. Cole did. It's music. Yeah, I just don't like it. It's cool. Y'all old. <laughs> Yo, I'm, it's music. You don't, you don't like to see. Who's better? You don't want to see I like, Cole I watch go battle rap for that. that? I watch battle rap for that. What's the I don't, I don't the listen to, I don't really listen to uh, diss tracks. Like, even them tracks y'all talking about, I listen to it one time. I'm never, I'm never going to listen to it again. All right, so let me... let me. Uh, let I, me I listen to them tracks question. one time because somebody sent it to me. It's not like I'm going to Google it. Uh, no. So you watch it to battle me. rap, why? I watch battle because that's different. That's you want to see who's better, right? No, I so, like battle rap. I like the shit for the bars and shit like that. Okay, know? so what's the difference between seeing... Two mainstream it's artists. It's two different things. We literally on stage, face to face, battling each other. Right. It's two different. That's totally different than than music. I want to turn on my music. You know what I mean? I, I listen to a lot of different shit. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. I even stopped listening to drill music because that shit is like I damn near, damn near demonic. But you uh, so I like so you don't have to, the interest. You, you being a competitor as a basketball player, right? Yeah. You have no interest in seeing two guys at any profession, right? To see who is better. I want to see. Who is I like when they get a little when we hooping and get a little testy. Oh, Lil's That's in the gym the and thing. Sam's in the gym. I I, I want to see y'all on the same team. I want to see y'all match up and see who better. That's not the same competition, right? That's that's who. That's, That's who. competition. That's, That's different. Rap is That's the different. same thing. I want to see y'all. I want to see Cole Maddie and Kendrick get it. I want to see Cole Maddie and Drake get at behind it. Rap. I see. I see what you did there. I what? see what you did. There. Maddie is behind uh, uh, rap done past. Uh, died behind the stupid. What? What Ray's trying to say is, when you're the best player on the floor, yeah. and there's somebody like Will or or Sam or somebody yeah. else on the, don't team up with them. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. You should go at it, right? I just, so why all so why all you niggas trying to, so why all you niggas teaming up to go against Drake? Then? I mean, that's corny. corny I agree with you that, the whole but, industry. But I don't think that was Kendrick's. 
I don't think that's what Kendrick was was aiming for this to be. You yeah, Kendrick, if you got Kendrick on the track was, in the future, you had to you, you had to know you had to know. I think Kendrick's on. initial thing was yo, I'm going at both y'all. Let's get to it. And then you had Ross and all these he other got people jumping into with it. Future, but, to, in but order future to has get, future ain't really give out no real work towards Drake. Future can't rap. That's why like, right. I don't live. I don't even like Future. So Kendrick was, I'm going at you because we always had this underlining beef. We always, there's always been something there, but we ain't really get into it. Now let's let's finally get to it. I don't think it. there's nothing there. It ain't nothing there. That's why I just battle, just rap, because it ain't right. nothing there. Just it ain't music. nothing there. There's no. Yeah, so street. battle somebody that has a ba- battle push a T or something. Hold Drake on. Ain't no battling. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You you like you like J Cole, right? Yeah. You of like course. J Cole, so that means you're familiar with J Cole's bars. Hmm. J. Cole talk shit about being the best rapper in the game his whole career. So when the time to come to show and prove if you really are the best rapper, oh, it don't sit right in my spirit. That's some bitch <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's a good point, though. That's but they all do been, it. After you been, do it, too. I'm the I'm the guy. I'm I'm number one. Well, here's your opportunity to, just, to prove if you really that guy. What's wrong with that? When it's just music. We ain't talking <laughs> yeah, about yeah. shooting and killing each other. We talking about just straight who got be- who's better at this. I've seen, I've seen you people. People have said, "Yo, Khalil, the best in the gym." And I've seen somebody who walks in the gym. I've seen you go toe to toe with Wag, and I've seen you turn that shit up because people think Wag is the best ever from Jersey. Right. I've seen you turn it up, and I've seen you put in work because Wag was in the building. <laughs> You wouldn't have had that same energy if it was me. <laughs> See, you gotta keep it a buck. Keep it at a honey. That ain't fucking hip hop, man. I don't care what y'all say. I'm it's still, I still, I still stand behind what I said. I but. get kind of both. Yeah, I can't clearly say he's like he looked at the past and you did you did see people die over dumb shit, That's right? Like that, That's it, like and hundred percent. But and then you guys are kind of pointing out, well, hey, we've had battles or people who have just left it out on the floor which is i left it out on the tracks right, like just right, been right. like yo i get the push and pull of that the younger generation is like this is stupid shit like don't fight that each is, other and kill each other over some nonsense but and the older generation is like wait you can have healthy competition right they pick that one extreme right right and for every two pocket biggie i can name five to ten battles that didn't result in somebody dying right hip-hop started in 1973 there's been battles since 1973 right i'm mean, stuff that we don't know about yeah. local stuff but from 73 to 2024, you can name Tupac and Biggie dying. Right, There's right. been so many lyrical battles and beefs sure. before name, and name, after that. Name recent ones, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there has been. But yeah, yeah. That, recent ones, obviously, there's been the drill music. But there's been a whole lot more that haven't resulted. Right. I'm saying, somebody but, okay, shot. right. But there's the, but a lot of people have, have died through our music. Not in any other genre. Oh, let me go. You sing better than me. I'm gonna kill this nigga. Like, yeah. Who the hell wants to hear a country gonna, song battle? I'm nobody just, wants to hear that. I'm shit. not. I agree, but I'm just making a point of ain't nobody dying over there or do through this, do that. I mean, that's my point. That's what imagine Billy Ray Cyrus going up against Tim McGraw for what? Right. And you making my point? No, yeah. rhyme, rhyme. You you can you can you can see and you can hear who's a better MC of the two. MCing is competitive okay. just from his just from his core rapping they mm-hmm. rap about how good they are and country okay. singers don't sing about right. how no, good they are at country that. okay right. but look, that's not the my point is i'm talking about the deaths behind it is that's not happening no, that's one that's the point i'm making but i don't I'm mind saying. i don't mind if it was healthy competition and nobody ever died and what was ever this? but this right here ain't nobody ever died like i've like never heard right about here. nobody dying from this, this, ain't get that vibe. this ain't get that vibe though right what I, this cold Kendrick Drake thing did they give the vibe I, I, that this was going to turn into right. that? No, well, I didn't give that vibe. Wait, I'm just, wait, saying, I'm just making a point because that's the micro. You're talking about the micro, right? Khalil's talking about the macro. In other right. words, the the larger, the bigger picture, right? But I do agree with, and I think something left over in hip hop is, and you agree with it was Brian just being like, if you're gonna say you are the best when on your tracks, All someone's gonna time. step up, right? Yeah. And that is left over in a lot of artistry when there's not battles going on, and someone steps up, and then we're like chill <laughs> which is interesting yeah. that's some bullshit you yeah, keep knocking a... on that door somebody gonna answer it yeah now i'm saying i i can i can agree with healthy competition but it ain't been healthy but this was gonna be healthy this yeah. one out of how many people that been... you i can give you Nas and jay probably the, the biggest beef ever it was healthy 
It was music. It they, and they would they were saying you gonna, very unhealthy things about each other. Where it could have turned into more than that, but it stayed music. We've seen a lot of it's just been music. And this right here, seen a lot of these dudes ain't off that time. It wasn't nobody going to be threatening to kill nobody. This was going to be healthy competition. I, so I'm not out of with that was, part. I'm just talking about like he said. I'm talking about the totality of of the right, of hip hop. Right. You just King Von. But you all these dudes like where re- they recently from? dudes. These recent where rappers come. Country singers are typically what rappers are typically what you got dudes coming from the hood. This you is got, what they come from. So who, it's not crazy that right there in the mansion Cherry Hill that want to be uh, rappers and want to be thugs because of because of our music, right? What we portray, what we live, what I live, if I rap and what I live from what I came from, they probably can't even fathom. Like you can't even like think, oh, I, I can't really, you can't really relate. But through the music, it's probably making you do some stupid shit that you that you wouldn't even normally do. Right, and you got two parent household, but you coming out here with your pants down. He's a gangster. Like His real name's Clarence. Right, right shit like that. <laughs> like though, they, they have like hip hop has that. It has that 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 power to like persuade and sway you, sway your mind mentally, and make you do some stupid shit. Like right. music and music has power. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Like in battling is healthy. Yeah, I'm with y'all with that. Cool, but why I gotta go somewhere else? In any aspect, you you just naming something that. You name Jay Z and Nas, right? Because right. it didn't go nowhere. But we didn't, and then we can go and pocket and big. Like you just they died. They was big in the game, like bigger than Nas and Jay. Agreed. Dead. Twenty five. Yeah, that's they true. Should, they should still be alive right now. They should. I agree. I, agree. You know I, I mean, agree. that's all. That's my, that's my point. I'm not disagreeing with y'all. Cole probably should have just left his shit out there instead. Of, might delete later and all that bullshit, but core me. <laughs> he should have just left it. But I'm I'm not mad at him for it. Like people think he's I am know, soft or whatever. I look at him different now. Like I look at him different. Like, I'm I'm you're not gonna not nice. listen, you're not gonna not listen to his music still. That's not gonna change. So we gotta we gotta leave it there. Khalil, thank you for this very spirited episode. Yeah, man. Of high IQ <laughs> basketball. You got the shades on and the hood on, and you giving that cool demeanor but you wasn't really off that like that. you really, but really got X, to it Malcolm X with the shades <laughs> <laughs> this has been high IQ basketball with Brian Isaiah Ravenberg Ray appreciate you standing up and admitting when you're wrong <laughs> it's rare <laughs> it's a rare occurrence <laughs> appreciate that man it gives gives the show more integrity we'll catch y'all uh next week later if you're going to a baby shower and you need a gift i have the perfect solution for you go to honeybee cakes on macari honeybee cakes specializes in affordable diaper cakes they make the perfect gift for the new addition to the fam search honeybee cakes on macari today Hey everybody, this is Brian Isley, comedian extraordinaire, asking you guys to download Logo, the Isley album, and Uno, the One Take album. Uh, I have three albums. They're all on Spotify. They're all on iTunes. They're all on Tidal. Uh, streaming well right now, but I need more support. I need you guys to go and download these albums, man. Download Logo, Laugh or Get Offended. Download the Isley album and download Uno, the One Take album. And they are available where you stream all your music. They're hilarious because I made them. (laughs) So download these albums today and get your laugh on. How you doing? This is Neil Wood from the Cult of Us podcast, speaking on behalf of Drop 10 Media Network, the network you're currently listening to. Make sure to check out all the other podcasts on the network. You can go to drop10.com to check them all out. Make sure to like, subscribe on everything that you see Drop 10 on. We appreciate it. Go to drop10.com now. Uh huh. I'm gonna have to tie my Nikes for this one. I'm gonna go for like a, like a quadruple double. Ha-ha. You plan a game to win, and greatness come from within. The only time you lose, if you only never begin, gotta be like the shoes and just do it. 
The clock is winding down, so now I'll shoot it. If fortune favors the bold, that's why I keep on just winning. If timing is just the essence, then I'ma keep on just spending. I'm worth a couple of bucks, shout out to Andre the Kumpa. Dropping in Bebo facts that seeping into your glue guns. Advising like Tony Kuko, Drew getting into it mucho. Directing all these plays like my name was Tony Russo. Balling, that's how we do so. I'm going in for the win. Penetrate the lane like you way back in 2010. I'm stomping straight in my Tim's. The basics just like I'm Tim. I'm dunking on you haters. A poster is where you live. It's magic all in my wrist. That curry, we going swish. It's showtime like the 80s basketball is where we live. I'm highly gifted and skilled. I'm going in for the kill. The game is on the line. Remember, hey, yo, what's the deal? Pass it to Brian Nosley. I bet he probably surprised me. High IQ basketball is the show and it's not a hobby. We're playing the game to win. Greatness come from within, the only time you win, the only never begin, gotta be like the shoes and just do it, the clock is winding down so now I'll shoot it, we playing the game to win, and greatness come from within, the only time you win, the only never begin, gotta be like the shoes and just do it, the clock is winding down. This has been a Drop Tent Media production.